Hey, today we'll be working on uh, pointers again in C. So we will, this video actually is to clarify the last videos. It's another pointer example, but I'm looking to clarify the percent %p modifier in the array where we got a garbage value. So if you saw the last video, hopefully I will be posting them in order in the playlist, in the C playlist, so check it out if you haven't seen it. So I have my IDE open. So we'll just do some examples just to work with pointer manipulation and just to show how it relates to arrays. So we got a few more examples so I'll just uh, do a little code in main so we'll just include the header file. So we'll just have the main function here. So we'll just initialize an array of 10 elements. And we'll just say printf here with the string percent %p new line and then the comma at the end of the string. We'll look for the address of number of array index zero the semicolon at the end and then we'll just be doing the same thing uh, four times so I'll just copy this here what happened there okay control C okay there we go So here, the second line will have and, so the uh, ampersand, so memory location or address of number of array index 5. And here we'll have percent %p of just number itself. And then here below we'll have number plus the value 5. So here we'll just uh, save that. So in the notes, there's some, in the book, there's some uh, notes here. So they have it's just my school's book. So just, uh, there's just some notes from my old school. So they have related to reference, or sorry, from my school, I'm in a different class now. So we have then we have the address of number of array index 5. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just set a breakpoint here and here. So let's just save that and then debug it. Uh, why is that a Okay, that looks like a 2D array. Okay, so that's fine. So we have our number array, our int number array of 10 elements, just garbage values right now. So we will just step over that line. Oh, okay, whoops. Wrong one, so I'll just re debug that. Apologize. 
So we actually skipped that line. We're here at this printf. We're saying what is the pointer value of number of array index 0? Well, if you notice, we haven't initialized any values in the array. So it's just storing garbage values. So we're looking for the address of number of array index 0. So if we print that out and you check your output, I have a value that says it's like 6 zeros, 9C, 663FF640. Excuse me. So then we have a uh, The next line we have printf, so that's the that's the memory location of number of array index zero. So in C, it doesn't actually show you the memory location unless you actually declare a pointer. For example, in Java, it sets the it shows you the memory location just from a variable. So that's why we can just use equals to set pointers, the equal sign, and you can use nodes to set links. You can, have a, you can have a node object with a head and a tail uh, instance data, and you can use those to set pointers itself. But in C, you can't really do that. You have to set the point. You have to set the memory locations yourself because it's a lower level programming language. So in the higher level programming languages, all that stuff is kind of done for you. So in this case, we can't see any memory locations. If you look at the local variables, it doesn't show any memory locations at all. And we will get, we would get a memory location if we had a pointer, unless we're printing it out specifically with, with the ampersand symbol. So now we'll print the next memory location. So it's the address of number of array index 5. So it's a similar it's a similar memory location, perhaps a little spaced out. Then we will print the so now we're going to print out just the value, the pointer value of number. So that gave us a the memory location of, I believe, of array index zero, in that case. Because if you remember, when you just print the if you just print the array without an index, it'll just automatically start at zero. So I think that's what happened there. And number of array index five was a little spaced out from the first value, from the first index zero. It's not actually plus five. It's like plus fourteen, but perhaps in bytes that was a little bit different, because remember memory is an array of bytes. So maybe int is. However many bytes is it four? So we wanted five away. So perhaps that might be correct. It doesn't seem like it would be exactly correct with four bytes. Uh, something like that, if you guys get the idea of what I'm kind of explaining, is that whatever byte size, I can't remember off the top of my head, an int is, that perhaps the spacing out from zero from 40 to 54 was the cert was like five times however many bytes uh, I can actually just look it up so I can just quickly look it up on my other computer here just to give you guys the exact example I'm feeling like it might be only two or might be four so how many bytes 
is an int in C. It was in my textbook. And I just completely forgot the value. Okay, so it is 4 bytes, so that is correct. So an int is 4 bytes, so that doesn't seem so, because if we go 44, 48, 52, so that would only give us 3 spaces. But I, I believe it's laid out something like, in some way like that. So hopefully you guys get the idea. It's something like that. Sometimes the values can get a little interchanged. Like it, I feel like there's a little bit of glitches in that memory system itself. Because it'll show like what's supposed to be the exact same memory location and the value will be off like a digit or two. Let's say we're looking for 40. It'll be like 41 or 42 or something like that when it should be exactly the same. So perhaps there's some kind of glitch in the back end. So now if we just print this last value, print f percent p number plus 5. Then it should really just start off at index array, because if we just call a number and the pointer value, it should print out the address of array index 0, right? Plus 5 should be plus 5 indexes down from 0, so 0 to 1 is 1. 1 to 2, oh wait, no, is that correct? Yeah, 0. To one is one, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. Or you know, zero to one. So it should be to four, perhaps. Number plus five, zero, one, two, three, four. Actually, no, because plus five from the from zero is one, two, three, four, five. So we'll just print that. So it gave us the same value as when we printed the array index. So on line 6 here, you can see that when we asked for the pointer value of the address of number of, of array index 5, we got the same thing as number plus 5 because it started at 0. So hopefully you guys get that concept, that the memory location was the same as the array index 5 because we added, we went 5 indexes from array index 0 to to the right. So 0, we added 1, which is 1, then 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, so it's just, it's really just going in order, plus 5 from index 0. So let's just have a look at another example with some actual pointers this time. So we'll keep or er, we'll keep a number of array index ten. So in number of array index ten, we'll keep that. Hopefully, you guys can see the output on your computer as well because my uh, again my X my Windows printing to X turtle console I can I can ch I could try to because last time when I tried to change it wasn't printing here and that also allows us to use EOF but I can just perhaps try to change it uh, okay modify run configurations Uncheck run an external console. I'll just print it out and see if it prints out. Okay, so you guys can see the memory locations now. So maybe we'll just go with this for now so you guys can see. That way, you know, you're using your own information if you're not typing in your IDE. That you can see. Hopefully you are typing this in your IDE. That way you'll know. Anyways, here we'll just uh, set some pointers, so we'll erase this stuff here. Then we'll say, we'll declare an int pointer p, and then pointer q. So we just have two pointers declared, one is pointer p, one is pointer q. 
and we'll say pointer p points to 10, the value 10. So pointer p, so the pointer value p points to 10. We'll say p points to number itself. And we'll say q points to the memory location of, or the address of number of array index 0. And here we'll say number of array index 0. points to 2, the value 2, number of array index 1 points to the value 9, and the number of array index 2 points to the value of 5. And here we'll have a printf statement, so we'll say printf. We'll pass in the format modifier percent %p and another percent %p and then a new line slash n. End of the string and then we'll say comma. Well then we'll pass in p and q. Semicolon and then we'll have one more print statement below and we'll say we'll pass in percent %d in the string comma percent %d comma percent d uh, comma percent d so four of them then a new line and we'll pass in the pointer value of p plus one comma p of array index one So p of array index 1, and then we'll say the pointer value of q plus 1. And we'll say uh, q of array index 1, fin at the, finally at the end. Let's tag on a semicolon, and so we have percent %d, percent %d, percent %d, percent %d. New line, and then we'll pa we're passing in the pointer value of p plus 1 p over array index 1, then the pointer value of q plus 1, and then q over array index 1. So if we just have a look here, we have p plus 1, so the pointer value of p plus 1, okay, so then that, then we're, then we're saying, okay, well, we want p of array index 1. Well, P is an, an array, but pointers are like arrays because they're the memory locations are arrays of bytes. So we're looking for P of. Okay, whoops. So we have okay. So P, we have P points to number, so it is an array then. So P points to number. So we want P of array index one. Uh, p of array index 1 got initialized here. They're saying, okay, p points a number. q points to the address of number. Because the next one we want the pointer value of q plus 1. So q points to the address of number of array index 0. So q points to the address of number for index 0, and we want the pointer value of q plus 1. So q is pointing to, so we'll probably get number of array index 1 for that one. And then we 
Okay, so we'll just go we'll just go through them one by one. So let's just uh, set a breakpoint here, and then we'll just hit Control S and de and start debugging it. So what do we have? We have so we can see that number is a point. Uh, it's an array. Then we have P, which is a pointer. If you notice there, in the local variables, the symbol for the array and the pointer are the same, even though one's a pointer and one's an array. So that's why they say they're very similar. Because a uh, memory is an array of bytes, so it's a byte array. So we have P. We have the pointer value P. It's giving us some kind of memory location. So P is storing a pointer value P as well. Then we have Q is storing a pointer value Q. One has a garbage value, one does not. So we're saying, so we'll step over this line, pointer value P points to 10. What happened to there? Uh, step over. Doesn't like that. So it's asking me, is it wrong in my note? So it might be. I mean, like the, the 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 book is asking me, is it wrong? Is this is this line correct? So it looks like it is. It looks like it's not correct because it's get throwing an error. It seems. So if I just re debug that, just to actually just, just let's just run it just to see if it, it'll print or cause an error. Yeah. So there is an error here. So let's just comment out this line. Read actually, then we'll run it first. So there's no error now, so we'll just we'll start debugging again. Okay, so we're saying P points to number. So if we step over that, then P's so P is now pointing to the address of the number array. And so now if, if we execute the next line, it's saying Q points to the address of number of array index zero. So if you notice, since P points a number, it's probably starting at array index zero. So P is probably pointing to the address of number of array index zero. And when we said Q points to the address of number of array index zero, they're the same thing. Because when you just point to an array, it usually just starts at zero. It should just start at zero. As we can see, it should start at index zero. So then here we're just defining the number array values to point to some. So we have Number of array index zero points to two. Then we have number of array index one points to nine. Then number of array index two points to five. So you can see that changing in the local variables. So then here we just have a printf statement. Then we're saying, okay, well we want to know what the pointer value is percent p percent p for p and q so p is pointing to number and q is pointing to number of random zero so they should be the same Okay, so there is a glitch with the uh, looks like with C line. 
it's not showing the it says some features and performance optimizations will not be available so is that one of them it does it only shows you an external console so apologize I will have to you will have to go off your own values or I can just explain them if you're not coding it yourself so I will modify my run configurations I'll click that and then click and run in an external console hit apply so it looks like there is some glitches with this still so we'll stop and then we'll go back to this line I'll take these breakpoints out so I've set a breakpoint at line 12 we'll re-debug it okay so I'll step over that line and then we'll look in our which you can't see this but they are the same memory locations exactly so I have like triple six zero sorry triple so six triple so there's six triple zeros here actually no what am I saying there's six zeros in a row then we have EA 4 C 1 F F 8 A 0 so that's just the memory location in hex code I believe so we have two of them and they're exactly the same separated by a comma so if you are typing this out hopefully you can see that you have something different it should be a memory location and they should be the same why is that because we we have p point so we were asking for the pointer value p we have we set above here p points to number and number was an array so this is, since it, it's an array it p should be pointing to which is a pointer p is a pointer so if we just call p p is going to point to the memory location so p is pointing to the memory location of number and then we're saying q points to the address of number of array index 0 so q is pointing to the at the memory location or the address of number of array index 0 so they should be the same because for above for p points a number it should just be it should be like an invisible array index 0 so if you guys understand that let's just uh, stop that and just see what we get if we just take the 0 out here so we'll just comment that out save it and then we'll just re-debug it okay great so we have the same values so whether it has if if we're saying q points to the address of number or p or q points to number it's the same thing so when we reference the pointer value itself sorry when we reference the pointer and not the pointer value so the pointer values with the star or the asterisk when we just call the pointer with just its variable and no asterisk then that means it's just going to point to the memory location or the address and if we use the the actual address itself for like the symbol of the address so and percent it's really just the same thing so we're saying okay well q points to the address of number or q points to number it should just be the same thing so we can just triple check that with uh, taking that and percent out and there he goes to triple check so we have everything lining up it is the exact same memory location again and of course the memory locations will change every time you run the program so hopefully that clears anything up so it was and number ran percent number and then with the index ten, uh, zero so we'll just save that 
and we'll skip down to this line here. So this one's a little tricky, so now we have, we're asking for the int value of the pointer value of p plus 1, so we have to see what p is pointing to. So p got set to the address of number. So the pointer value of p plus 1 should just be array index 1. So let's print that out. So there you go, we got 9. Why do we get 9? Because, okay, I'm glitching out. Okay, there you go. So we can see that number of array index 1 points to, to 9. Right? So why is that p? So behind here we said p points to the to the address of number. So p is really just cloning number. It's like a duplicate of number. So then if we want the pointer value of p plus 1, then it's just going to give us P, which is set to number, which is going to start at array index 0, plus 1, would just be 0 plus 1 index, so index 1, which here it says points to the value of 9. So then if we want P of array index 1, so we have P pointing to the address of number, number is an array, so if we want array index 1, that's also 9. Then here we want the pointer value of q plus 1. So we're saying, okay, well, q also points to number of the address of number of random 0. So that should just be, should just be, be pointing to number. So q plus 1, the, the pointer value q plus 1 should give us 9 again as it's pointing to number array of index 0 plus 1 should give us or index 1 which should give us 9. Yep, that's correct. So it's the same thing. And then if we just want Q of array index 1, that should be the same thing because we have Q pointing to the address of the number array index 0. If we just want Q of array index 1, that should just be the number of array index 1. And that should just give us 9 as well. So hopefully you guys, that clears up some uh, problems you have with pointers. We'll continue with pointer discussion in the next video. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe and like the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.